YTBC what's the deal so let me give a shout out to a commenter uh, subscriber man he left me an interesting article this morning uh, his name uh, the commenter is WHAQD76 I don't know how to pronounce it Waqua did 76 but anyways WHAQD76 shout outs to you bro for uh, giving me this link and the link was an article to Joseph Parker is now rated the number one heavyweight contender by the WBO. I will leave the article in the description, um, www.stuff.co.nz. So I went there and I checked it out. Now we know earlier this week uh, a video had emerged from Joseph um, or Anthony Joshua saying that if Parker wants to fight him, he can come fight me in the UK. You know, he also went on to say, um, Styles make fights, doesn't it? Uh, he's knocking out guys over in New Zealand. I'm knocking out guys in the UK. We can come together and someone's going to get knocked out. That's just heavy-handed, fast, young prospects through the division. It's funny that Anthony Joshua calls himself and Parker prospects. But when I call them prospects, I'm a hater. I don't know what I'm talking about. Why do I have a YouTube channel? You know what I mean? So it's funny when the fighters say they're prospects. It's, you know, it gets overlooked by the fans, man. But the fans want to rip uploaders and things of that nature. But... So I looked at the WBO top five and they have Parker number one, Anthony Joshua number two, Vladimir Klitschko number three, Pavekin number four, Oleg uh, Alexander Yusinov number five, and of course Fury's the champion. Um, it just showed the top five and I get to look at all of the guys, but I'm curious to see where they have a guy like uh, Michelle Wallish, the German prospect who is, I believe he's 16 and 0, and Izu Aganu, another guy who used to work with... Uh, Joseph Parker and last I heard he is going to go back over to Poland and do his thing over there which I think is a good move for him because um I wouldn't want to play second fiddle to anybody I even heard fans say they didn't want to see Izuagano go back to Poland because they felt as if uh, him and Parker were a duel they were a team and my thing is look man there can only be one there can only be one we're not doing a Klitschko 2.0 you know we're not going to have a two-headed heavyweight monster you know it, that was unique situation because you have brothers um and we may have a unique situation with tyson fury and Yuri fury it could happen i'm not saying it will but that could happen but as far as just friends um taking over the division together no i don't want to see that i don't want to see it at all we can be friends after we get the uh, scrap over with you know so um but i'm curious to see where those two guys are rated because i'd like to see parker fight those guys i think it'd be a good fight now the uh fight with Izu Agano probably isn't realistic right now, um, you know, being that they just came apart from working with each other for a few years and uh, having the same trainer. So uh, I don't really see that being a fight that's realistic at the moment. But I think if they keep winning and Izu Agano's already said that he will not uh, that if he does go back over to New Zealand, it would be to support um, Joseph Parker. So. That's the last I heard from him, so I'm not sure if uh, he's there or not, if he's still there or not. But I heard that uh, he's going to keep his, his uh, he's going to share the same trainer, you know, and uh, they will set up the training camps in Vegas. And uh, it will go like that. But as far as this, you know, Parker fighting Joshua, now jo uh, Parker went on to say in his video that he wants to fight him. Um, I'm going to read a little bit from the article. It says, uh, Anthony Joshua, I'm now ranked number one in the WBO, you are ranked number two, Parker said in a video released by promoters Duca Events. Come to New Zealand to fight me for the number one mandatory position. Um, it says, Anthony, I am not scared of you. You said when we get together, someone is going to get knocked out. Guess what? It's not going to be me. You know, so these guys have been eyeing each other for, for a minute, man. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, Parker also went on to say that uh, he's known about or Joshua went on to say that he's known about Parker since 2009 when they're come up in the amateurs. So I want to see these guys fight, man. I want I know I'm kind of all over the place right now, but I'm trying to just read some little things from the article to inform you guys. But I like to see the fight. You know, Joshua said after his press conference in the uh, Dillian White fight that he is not ready for world level yet. Now, again, I'm confused because these sanctioning bodies have these guys rated world level. They have them rated number one and number two. Also know the WBC has uh, Anthony Joshua highly rated, and I believe uh, Parker is rated seventh by the WBC and IBF, and eleventh by the WBA. 
Um, and Joshua's also rated high by a few other sanctioned bodies. So the sanctioned bodies think they're ready according to the rankings. But me breaking these guys down, I have them as prospects. These guys themselves call themselves prospects. So I guess is what you want to go by. But um, a lot of people say, you know, they should wait for this fight. It'd be bigger down the road. And my thing is, you know, I'm not watching this division and looking at all these prospects. I'm not, I'm not so certain that a fight between them down the road will come off as you know two undefeated fighters and i don't know if they're going to be undefeated if they fight other prospects and top contenders you know dominic brazil oscar rivas um even gerald washington israel gano dillian white still around the big six foot seven kid adrian granat here he is another guy we need to keep an eye on and stop overlooking um marius Breedis, even though he's at cruiserweight but he did fight at heavyweight for a few fights knocked out char um off his back foot you know what I'm saying? Uh, Trevor Bryan's around. Jarrell, Big Baby Miller. Even a guy like Arnold Jarek Jai, who's not a prospect, but he's 29 and 0. Somebody's going to have to, he's going to have to fight somebody sooner or later. Um, now, you may think that Parker and Joshua would kill all these dudes, and that's fine. But to me, all these would be intriguing matchups. I'm not sure he goes undefeated against all the prospects I just named. I'm not sure of that. Maybe some of you may feel that way, but I don't. Um, I think it'd be a good fight. Parker wants to fight. Joshua said he would fight him. I don't think this is a fight that needs to wait um, because I'm not sure where these guys are going to be in two or three years. They might lose their next fight, you know, so. And if it, you know, and if they were to fight now, who's to know in two, three years, they may be champions, you know, but I think it'd be a, a good fight right now. Parker wants to fight. He came in on, on video and said he want to fight. You know, he didn't just release it on Twitter or um, he didn't tell his, uh, you know, his cousin to you know inform us on twitter no he came out with a video with his face saying he wants to fight so i'm curious to see uh the reaction from anthony joshua where he wants to go with this uh will he take the fight he did fight an undefeated prospect with dillian white who beat him in the amateurs i'm only bringing up amateurs because uh joshua said he's been keeping an eye on parker um and he's known about him since the amateurs so i'm bringing up amateurs because he brought up the amateurs so hey you know, I think this would be a good fight right now. Now, we need to break down where the fight can be at. New Zealand over the UK, I want them to work that out. I really don't care. You know, I don't live in the UK or New Zealand. So to me, it really doesn't matter where the fight takes place. Um, the O2 arena seems like the best possibility. But that's just, you know, that's just me. And I've seen a lot of fights um, at the O2. So look like a huge venue to stage a fight but i like to see the fight i like to see it next i don't think it needs to wait we have a lot i just named you what i've named about 10 11 prospects who are all you know undefeated and up and coming besides dillian white he's lost already um but shit man i want to see a lot of these fights you know um Huey fury is another guy that's over in the uk i hope josh was not overlooking man some of you think uh joshua hit him with one shot and knock him out i'm not sure of that you know i've watched fury fight man and uh he's come from a fighting family and getting that experience against Tyson every day, Tyson Fury every day, uh, guys, it has to help. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I know in this last camp they had Nick Asbury out there, and they had another prospect, uh, Cassius Cheney, out there getting them, um, getting Tyson ready for uh, Vladimir in November. But um, what do y'all think about this, man? WBO has Joseph Parker rated number one, so the WBO thinks he's world level and he's ready to fight for titles right now. That's what the WBO they think him in. Um, joshua are ready to have one one and two parker wants to fight joshua for that mandatory number one spot for the title what do y'all think about this ytbc i'm out